What's up everyone? Alex here. May 9th is here a day earlier, and we've got a ton of details surrounding Persona 5 Royal leaked from early issues of Weekly Famitsu just for you. Daiki Ito, Yasuhisa Wada, and Shigenori Sojima were interviewed in this issue of Weekly Famitsu, and I've compiled all the new info here in this video. Special thanks to Gamatsu and Persona Central for providing the translations to the interview. Establishing the tone for the article, the developers spoke about how the royal subtitle was decided upon early on, and was intended to express the studio's enthusiasm for creating an extravagant and polished title. The latter word choices reflect much of the information that's revealed in this interview. Specifically talking about the polish Persona 5 Royal will have, the studio will be adjusting the amount of experience points players earn in order to improve the pacing of the game. In addition to this, the newly announced Play Assist feature will be a more improved version of Persona 4 Golden's Vox Populi, but with more sophisticated recommendations than the former. Play Assist will now consider your current state in the game, and will look at your character stats, confidant levels, and then recommend a destination that you can immediately visit just with a press of a button. Transitioning over to what makes Persona 5 Royal extravagant was the revelation that the brand new third semester will far exceed what the team has done with a new semester in Persona 4 Golden, confirming what was only hinted at during last month's reveal. Persona 5 Royal will also have 20 brand new song tracks, brand new confidants, Beyond Kasumi and Maruki, and brand new artwork featured in conversations. The devs didn't elaborate further on whether this new artwork pertained to locations or character portraits, however, and they additionally teased that new confidants will be part of future reveals of the game. The interview also goes into detail about Kasumi and talks about how her presence will add new perspective, depth to existing characters, and a different flavor to the story. The latter, no doubt, referring to Kasumi's relationship with the protagonist and her views of the Phantom Thief's actions. Extra care was taken to incorporate Kasumi into the story of Persona 5 Royal, making her feel like she'd always been part of the game since the very beginning. To that point, the devs talk about how her character design was made to fit alongside the other confidants and characters in the game, comparing her design to Persona 4 Golden's Marie, who appeared a bit strange when compared to the other characters in that game. The devs add that they were going for a more classic heroine look for Kasumi, and added that, while designing her Phantom Thief outfit, that they made sure to design it so that it complements Joker's design, almost as though they could be paired together. As previously stated, Kasumi will also be one of the new confidants, and she'll be developed further during these events, allowing you to see a side of her not seen in any of the trailers. The devs also revealed new information regarding Takuto Maruki, the school counselor, and also one of the new confidants. One of the important goals for designing Maruki was to introduce a confidant who can feel like a breath of fresh air for the player when compared against the numerous corrupt adults the player encounters during their gameplay. Because of this, Maruki is described as a kind adult, who the devs have hinted has a connection with both Ryuji and An, no doubt due to the events in the game early on. The conversations the player will be having with Maruki would be quite different than interactions with other adults, with the devs hoping that players can consider him as a welcome addition to the story that contrasts heavily with the more oppressive feeling confidant storylines. One additional tidbit that was revealed was that Persona 5 Royal will acknowledge Persona 5 save files, but due to the major changes in Persona 5 Royal, progression and other data cannot be carried over. Instead, players will receive a bonus upon starting Persona 5 Royal. No additional details were given regarding this bonus. The devs further teased as to who the mysterious handsome man is with this screenshot shown on screen. I'm pretty sure longtime fans know who this person really is. All that aside, you're probably wondering who Daiki Ito and Yasuhisa Wada is and why they were interviewed. Well, they're directing and producing Persona 5 Royal respectively, and we've got all the info about them in this next video. Check it out and find out more info about Persona 5 Royal ahead of its 2020 release in the West.